Okay, take number three. I went off on a little trip down a rabbit hole. <laughs> Start talking about the anyway. So starting over. Last night and yesterday were pretty shitty. <clears throat> I spent most of the day trying to figure out if, if Megan was gonna be alright or if she was getting attacked or whatever. So long story short, I was led to believe by Megan, probably set up by both of them, I'm thinking, that she was getting hurt or whatever. They were trying to get me to come over there. And uh, I knew that because mm -mm. the way he is and Matt was like, oh, why don't you just come over here and get her? And I'm like, well, pff, she's the one that left, man. If she wants to come back, she can get her happy ass over here by herself. You know, I'm like she can stay over here, but she ain't, I'm not letting her suck off the teat this time, you know, like anyways. And <clears throat> I was up all, well, not all night, but until like two or three, until I could, <laughs> before I fall asleep. Did y'all see that? I don't know. Somebody in my yard. Anyway. Every time I get interrupted. That's okay. Screw it. There ain't nothing out there. I don't give a shit. It's all about to go anyway. Okay, so I was up late last night trying to make sure my stuff was okay because you know, the cronies are driving around. So I didn't see Matt anywhere up here, but that doesn't mean he wasn't there. Um, I just, you know, I had to deal with their bullshit. And come to find out, I put the pieces together. They were trying, they were trying to fucking, pardon my language. I'm really working on that. <laughs> They're trying to frame me. They're trying to set me up. <clears throat> they kept talking about it. Uh... I just, the last few days, I kept hearing people prime me. Chris, you did it. Okay, and then I'm pretty sure Megan did it. And then some, and the same, the same amount, you know, they were like, uh, <laughs> so and so got busted for, you know, possession of meth, 30 grams, 30 grams, 30 grams. And then uh, Matt, okay, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. <clears throat> So, I didn't know that just, just yet, but I, I wasn't trying to get too involved in it except for I felt led to say something because Matt was trying to get me to admit to something or tell him something that I'm thinking, what, what, why would I tell you anything, man? You're just looking for a reason to beat her ass or be mean to her. Like, I, I'm on the phone with you. It's not like I... You, you, they think I'm stupid or something. They think they're just so smart or they're just so tricky. But I, when it comes to narcissists, you, you guys are lame. You guys are lame. You got no game. Your skill is, is novice at best. And I don't even know how you've gotten along this far without just totally destroying each other, which is what you're on the verge of doing anyway. So it's, it's probably going to happen. <clears throat> but so... The first time I had to call the cops, it, it sounded like Megan was getting choked. Two phone calls from a restricted number, and it was <laughs> something like that. Okay, and I'm like, well, I can't understand. First, I was telling Matt to get the dick out of his mouth because blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I was talking some pretty mad shit to him, which I shouldn't have done, but it was all true. You know what I mean? He's queer as a $3 bill. He carries pictures of my dick in his phone and shit. It's just it's weirdly obsessed with me. And th these are by Megan's words. Okay, so <clears throat> that's what she told me. And then he sent me, and I'm not going to put this online, but he did send me a text asking me to come F him and a picture of not even, no, nope, not his penis, somebody else's penis. <laughs> that's funny, huh? Anyway, uh, He's just a freak, weird, weird, strange person. He needs probably to go to prison and get some help. You know, that they'll help him in there. They will. Plus, he can find a nice husband. <laughs> anyway, so they go over there. Supposedly, everything's fine. They don't even call me back. I ask them, you know, could you please call me? Let me know if she's okay, whatever. You know, like, we're not together, but I'm just... He's beat the shit out of her before already. When the first time I found her, she was covered, bruises, head to toe. I mean, like, she got hit by a bus. She was beat up. And Matt, by his own admission, sitting right here in this room, this very room right here, to me, 
told me that for a minute and 45 seconds, he beat the living shit out of her. Just as hard as he could, you know, like. So, <clears throat> what am I supposed to believe? Duh. What would you do, people? Huh? Call the cops, right? I mean, really, I wanted to go up there and beat him up. Because he's a coward. You know, carries a gun around. The first time I seen him, he just tried to wave a gun in my face. That's, you ain't going to use that gun, boy. <laughs> Send me on to heaven, man. Just do me a favor. He just looked at me like, what the fuck? <laughs> they always do. And I'm like, I don't give a shit, man. Don't threaten me with a good time. So, he calls me after, I guess after the cops leave. Did you, did you call the cops? I'm like, well, duh, dude. Duh. What was I supposed to think, man? Restricted number. Couldn't call back to see if she was okay. I haven't been able to, you know, talk to her or anything. You know, I already know what you've done to her. I don't really see where there's a, you know, a discrepancy in the common sense area of life where I should have sat there and thought about that. Like, hmm, I wonder if I should just let her get choked for a little while or, you know, like maybe, maybe he was just trying to shove something down her, you know, like she wasn't eating breakfast and he was having to feed it to her, you know, I mean, I don't know, man, it's all sorts of terrible things could have went through my head and I didn't really care for that because there ain't no telling what your sick and twisted mind might do to some woman that you got as a, you know, Stockholm victim slave that you've been keeping in the basement. I mean, this is how she acts, man. She's terrified of you, especially this time. She's, it's like, it's like you, you're going to kill her if, if she ever comes back or leaves or what, whatever, whatever. Yeah, man, that's typical bullshit. That's the same thing that any scared-ass little whiny baby mid-range narcissist is going to say, right? It's ridiculous, man. Just go a different direction, man. You look like a fool. You act like a fool. Everybody in this town knows you're a fool. Everybody knows you're doing illegal things you don't need to be doing, bro. That's why you're about to go to prison. You know, like... What are you doing? What are you doing, man? And you, you want to call that love to her? You know, like, oh, love her. Why are you feeding me full of this horse shit? Because they're trying to frame me or something. They wanted me to get mad and start yelling. But all I did is tell Matt exactly what he is. And if he wants to share them text messages with you, whatever. I mean, I was talking some pretty mad shit, but it's all true. He's garbage. He's garbage. He ain't going to change. He don't want to change. You know what I mean? He's just constantly nothing but lies spewing out of his mouth. You know what that is? That's hatred. You hate me, bro. You want me dead, right? He tried to tell me that Megan wanted me dead. Maybe she does. I don't know. I don't know why she would want me dead, but I'm probably thinking it's more along the lines of he wanted me dead because I think they're both obsessed with me, and Megan got, got to come live with me and get what she wanted, which was just supposed to be roommates. I was just trying to help her. It wasn't supposed to be like it turned out to be. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so it was all it was all a con to begin with. And uh, <clears throat> Megan, you, you're all right. Your acting skills were shitty at first, and then you learned. You learned, but that's all she did was learn from me how to be even more wicked. That that's a, who can God bless that they won't turn around and use it against him. You know, I'm sure he feels that way. But. All this shit's going on yesterday. And then a, a second time, I'm talking to her. What's this like later on? This, this is an all-day freaking thing. Just trying to get them two to talk to each other or break up with each other. You know, I'm trying to get them to just, you know, look at y'all. Look at this, man. This ain't no relationship. And she's not helping. She's just, she's agreeing with whatever or telling him whatever. I mean, it was, it was pathetic. It was pathetic. And it's the same pattern they've been using, but they were like, hey. Let, let's let's do this and blah, 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 you know, I mean, if they thought it out, I promise, it was premeditated, premeditated, <clears throat> okay, somebody, somebody needs to get somebody arrested because they're a coward, and it ain't gonna be me, bro, I told you that yesterday, and I offered you reprieve for all this, I wasn't gonna put all this out, but you don't want to answer the phone, you know, I have to like, I woke up in a great mood this morning trying to say, you know what, man, my miracle happened last night, my life is changing, and I don't, I don't really want to go through this unless, but he don't even want to answer the phone, so, 
And the issue with this is, is that I don't even think Matt wanted, okay, he called back and said, well, he said he was going to shoot me, but he said, he said shit, you know what I mean? I can't even believe that they would take something like that, but the problem is, the old detective numbnuts, or whatever the fuck his name is, uh, I can't remember now, anyways, damn it, what was his name? Let me look that up real quick, because I want that on this video, it needs to be. Um, where's that? Yo. Uh, oh, that's not it. Oh, well, I don't know his name. I just called him the Corporal because he was a corporal. And if anybody watching this video knows anything about rank and police departments, that's pretty high level. That's 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 an officer, okay? <clears throat> and they don't call people back for nothing. Mm -mm. They don't talk to people <laughs> unless it's a out in the field and a, you know. So <clears throat> when this this happened the second time, and I have the recording on my phone, and you can hear it clear as day, crap, and it could have been played out. Sure, I'm not denying that, but when I heard it on this phone, I was being manipulated to believe that he hit her, and she was like, "Oh God, I'm sorry." So I hung straight up, told him, "I'm calling cops." Deep, got on the phone, said, "Hey." It's happening again over there. I got it on the phone, recorded, and he is hitting her right now. Can you please get over there and help her? Get her out of there, please. So she's like, she takes down blah, blah, blah. She's she's hurrying. She's doing it. The lady that answered the phone did great. Uh, she did everything she's supposed to. And it wasn't five minutes after that, a corporal is calling me. And I can tell he's in his car, right? And he's like trying to ask me, but not just ask me. He's trying to disprove what I had said. And yeah, that's what you did, Corporal. I got that conversation right here, too. You know, I'm not stupid. <clears throat> and, <laughs> you know, like, if you're going to do shit like that, man, you don't need to be a cop. But he's arguing with me on why anybody needs to go over there. And I'm like, man, I got it on it. And he's like, well, did you did you call blah, blah, blah? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, did you follow blah, blah, blah? Yeah. And I did everything I was supposed to do with Canyon. I did mine through Canyon because I was here. I, when I called, I was here in Canyon, and they were in there. So they sent a Canyon officer over, and I told him everything that happened, just like I just told you. And so he wait, you know, a little while later, he comes back, and he's like, hey, man, <clears throat> you know, it's that he said, he said, you know, and it'd really just be best if you guys would just part ways and never talk to each other again. Okay. That's fine with me. I just, I mean, I did it because I had to, not because I wanted to. I did it because Matt's a dumbass. And I have to because they're crooked-ass, narcissistic pieces of shit, and they'll use stuff like this against you, and they do it to everybody. And, you know, at this point, I'm, I'm starting to see the setup and everything. So I'm like, well, okay, that'd probably be best then. Fine. He's already in some shit anyway, so it won't be long before he's gone anyhow. Okay? And Megan told me that also. That you were going to run or kill yourself. I also told the police department that too. Just in case they think. <laughs> in case you think you might run. Oh boy. I won't let you miss it. So. I want you to be on that bluebird. <laughs> but at least he did give you a tip about it. So. That's some good advice I gave you too. You know. Get chained to a fat boy. And get the inside seat. Or the outside seat. No. You want to go on the bus first. That way you pick the seat. And you go in first. That way you got a fat guy. And a you know side of the bus lean up against. It, it sounds crazy, but I'm telling you, you'll thank me, <laughs> for real. So, as I, as I hear this guy come back again, or no, he didn't come back again, Matt and Megan are still doing whatever, and they're like, they keep, they keep trying to, I don't even know what you want to call it, man, it just, it felt like they were trying to pull something and i felt it you know like i'm like this is not right but i'm still worried about megan because she's just trying to play the part right so she don't get hit but you know, i really don't think that's the case at this point i really don't um <clears throat> just <laughs> i want to get angry and go off down that rabbit hole again but i'm not going to uh after I talked to the corporal, 
And I was like, well, fine. I guess we just call somebody else. And he's like, well, I'm not saying I'm not on the way over there. And I thought, what do you mean on the way over there? What's a corporal going over there to do anything? You know what I mean? They don't go on them calls, especially in a blizzard. And that's what I told him. I'm like, man, you're just, you're just being lazy. You want to get out in this blizzard and do your damn job. <laughs> I ain't afraid to tell them, motherfucker. Ah, language, Ben. So, this this how the day went, right? And then I find out, you know, Matt's running his mouth. and Because I'm running my mouth. True, true. But everything I said was true. Everything he says is a lie. Bullshit concocted to, you know, you know, you know people, liars hate their victims. So, that's, that's what he was doing. He was hating on me, so I, I was just going to let him know exactly what he is. I didn't, like get like foul I mean I took it to a a level that probably destroyed him on some level for sure I mean he'll never be the same after what I told him but it wasn't like disgusting or you know it was just it was just me using my words and I told him this I'm gonna tear you apart with my words dude I don't even have to do nothing but just tell you exactly what you are that'll probably do it that'll probably get you out of here you know this will when this comes out and he finds out about it everybody knows he's gay everybody knows he's obsessed with my penis and i mean he's gay dude he keeps megging around so that he don't have to look gay i'm telling you i'm telling you do some research on mid-range narcissist hg tutor look up the video are narcissists gay just go on youtube look it up man it will it will explain him to a t it's funny as hell okay so here you got this frustrated gay guy that uh his girlfriend has been sleeping with this extremely sexy <laughs> guy with the magical penis you know and uh i can understand why he might want me to die <laughs> but it's not my fault i didn't go to jail i didn't beat her up or whatever you know what i mean and that all could have been a plot too i felt like it was right from the start but i was kind of impressed like damn she's gonna go through that could come see me i guess i might as well see what she's <laughs> You know what I mean? That's effort. That's a that's commitment, you know? Hell, I don't know. That could have been painted on for all I know. <clears throat> so, hell, the whole day is going by, and finally, it comes time for bed, and I'm just kind of lounging around, and I get a call from Joey at, uh, shit, like 11 o'clock, right? And when he called, I was just like, all right, it's Joey. I started getting dressed. I'm sending and it, then he started telling me how everything on his truck didn't work, and it was just like blah blah blah, you know. And I've had days like that. I get it, and I'm looking at it. I'm like, man, that sucks. And I was having trouble too, man. I had to tighten my lug nuts back up the other day. I had my my oil drained and my coolant drained. <laughs> like, you know, Matt's a real piece of shit. He's trying to look at that, man. Why? Why, Matt? Why? Because you aren't man enough to keep your lady around and she went over there to pull a con fell in love with me didn't she that's what a real man does to a woman makes her never want to leave problem is she knows she ain't never gonna change she's pretty much shitty too and that's unfortunate because when i knew her before she wasn't like that i don't think she sure didn't seem like that I know things can things can change. Bad things happen. But hey, here I am. You really ain't got no excuse. Everything you need to change and do whatever, it's all out there. Everything you need, it's all right here, really. But after living with me for six months, all right, you only paid two bills. And you bought stuff, don't get me wrong. But it, it was maybe one-eighth of what I did. And that's fine. That's what I told you, remember? I said, you can stay here. For as long as you want as long as you helped at least a little bit okay and get back on your feet that's what i told you i saw you through all the way to that didn't i got your job back got a house good for you but i did that for you you didn't do that for you you were doing good when you were at my house even though you were stealing shit for mad or setting it up where you know what i mean they were wanting me to get into i think that was that was a part of the plan. They wanted to uh, get me so mad that I hit her, right? Because I have a record. Yeah, well, now you know. 
I ain't like that, and I ain't what Jenna said. I ain't that. Never was. That woman drove me to crazy. Anybody would, anybody would have wanted to. <laughs> like, she should have got what Megan got. For real. That's how much. I mean, Jenna used to make me want to just explode all over and just like, hopefully my shrapnel will take her out. Like, <clears throat> so I'm mad she would get me. And I, I'm not that impatient anymore, you know, like, especially it's like 25 girls in that I've helped like this. And I, I don't sleep with all the men, so I don't think that, okay, that's not what it's about. And uh, it's a four or five, maybe out of, out, out of like 25. And I, I, it's not something that I was like, well, if you're going to stay here, you got to, you know, <laughs> you spread them legs a little bit. No, it ain't like that with me. I'm a gentleman. And if anybody tells you any different, they must have been hanging out with Matt. So. <laughs> I love her, man. Really? You don't beat the shit out of somebody like that? <laughs> or, okay. So, this gets me to the next point. We get to the next time he smacks her. I call the cops, blah, 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 blah. After the cop leaves, supposedly, or whatever. He, he sent me a text. Actually, it's really quickly. He sends me a text really quickly, like within five minutes of me hanging up with that corporal, right? Uh, does he call me? No, no, he sends me a text message. He said, way to go, Ben. Now, Megan's going to jail for 30 grams of meth. And I was like, well, Matt, what, what are you doing putting your dope in her pocket? You know, like, I thought right then, that's a, that's a setup. He did that to her. And then I got to thinking about it. I'm like, well... Maybe she wants to take him out, and it's a setup on him, because she gets there, and she's going to say, well, it was his, man. He was beating. He told me I had to hold it, and blah, blah, blah. You know, I mean, she she could have lied and done anything, I'm sure. But I've known they were snitches the whole time. <laughs> Ain't that funny? I told you I was psychic. I told Megan, too. She knew I knew. Uh, And she did. She told me. She told me you were a snitch, man. And I ain't trying to get. I don't care. Like I said, do what you do, man. But find a find a piece of shit to snitch on. You know, don't don't be trying to snitch on people like me. What the fuck? Or your girl. I didn't do nothing to you. I didn't do nothing to you. I didn't ever harm you. I didn't ever talk shit to you. I treated you respectfully. I tried to counsel you and her. And this the guy you're gonna this the guy you're gonna do that to? <laughs> like I said, you're a real piece of shit, Matt. The piece of shit that get you know, eats a piece of shit and has some pee and shit and you're that piece of shit out of that shit. So that's 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 my best opinion of you man you're garbage your mother is probably very ashamed that's why she does all that stuff to help you out because she knows she fucked up she knows she fucked up yeah that's your mama's fault your daddy's fault but you could have changed it at any point in time okay i've seen people go through much worse lives than what you probably had and come out the other side a real man you know <clears throat> a real man not a man who wants a man <clears throat> that's not a real man that's a woe man man okay <clears throat> So, at that point, I knew, I absolutely knew, no doubt in my mind, just anybody with a brain could put all those pieces together, okay? I didn't have to do nothing but listen to all you idiots tell on yourself, including the corporal. <laughs> you know? And you are you're an awful big hurry, man, and you you real worried about your your dude here that you got working for you, so... What in the world? I'm thinking, what? Okay, so it's a case that this guy, Corporal, has probably been working on, or whatever, or maybe his ass is in a sling, and he's leaning on Matt, because Matt is looking at some serious time, so you, you see, and, and then Matt's leaning on Megan, alright, so that, I'm sure, I don't know, who knows what kind of dirt that he's got on her, or maybe, maybe, Maybe she was doing something for me. Maybe he said he had dirt on me or whatever. Well, I'll say, bring it. Bring that dirt, motherfucker. Because I ain't got no dirt on me. You know what I mean? I do what I'm supposed to, man. I ain't running around trying to be a rascal. Okay? I try my best to stay out of everybody's hair. I stay here in my house by myself most of the time. And because of the plan you two put together and executed in your own free will... And tried to trick a man that only wanted to help because you knew I would help. And now you want to pull this. There was a day 
You know what I mean? They used to put motherfuckers like you in ditches. Okay? Grain mills and shit concrete your ass in. That's that's what you deserve for shit like that, man. Like I said, do what you do. Don't snitch on good people. Why? Because you're obsessed with my dick and now your woman is obsessed with it too? I try to tell you, man, it ain't, it ain't a magical penis, bro. It's just I know how to love. I know how to have real sex. I know how to be passionate. I know how to please a woman because I'm not a faggot. Duh. And you want to get mad at her and me for it? I mean, that come on, man. That don't even make no sense, bro. You ought to be in a mental institution. For real. That's what you need to do. You need to plead insanity. <laughs> you idiot. So. <clears throat> all this shit happened yesterday. And it's just. It's been compounding and compounding and compounding. And I ain't trying to get in the middle of this shit. But that damn Megan. Listening to Matt. That stupidest, dumbest freaking thing you could ever do. Is listen to anything that comes out of that fool's mouth. Because it's a lie. And it's designed only to help him. He don't give two shits about you, Megan. After... After that, you weren't supposed to be with him, or you weren't with him, or whatever. He's calling me saying, oh yeah, Megan did all this. Megan did that. Megan did He was putting all the blame on you, trying to get me to turn on you. What the hell? You know what I mean? First of all, I ain't a liar. I got integrity. I'm an honest person. You already knew that. Well, you think you can flip me, boy? Please. Please, man. <laughs> I live by the truth. It's so much easier. I don't have to keep track of all these lies, and you know what? Everything I say can be proven. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Ah, okay, so now do you not only have no proof that I did whatever you said, unless your corporal helps you put it together, which could be a possibility, but not with this video about to come out. I'm going to blast it everywhere. Like I said, I'm going to take it up News Channel 10. I'm going to make sure they get a hold of it because this is a scandal. This is a scandal right here in Amarillo, and that, this shit goes on constantly. You know, people die in this town because of shit like this, and I guarantee police department's involved in it. You know, because I have gone up there like Katie. Katie Phipps was in prison or in jail here for a year, and me and Jenna were material witnesses, eyewitnesses that could prove that she was innocent without a doubt, and they wouldn't have our affidavits. They wouldn't take our statement. Same thing happened to me that tattoo Drew. I didn't know anybody or anything involved with that. I just seen him on the news, and I thought, I know that guy. I thought, I know Brandon was looking for him. So I called, and I'm like, hey, yeah, that dude, I seen him the day before. Like, I don't know much information, but I think I dropped him off over at, like, this certain neighborhood. Like, it wasn't a house. I think I dropped him at the toot and told him. But anyway, they wouldn't even hear it. Wouldn't even hear it. Because they already have somebody picked out they want to nail for that. Believe it or not, that's exactly what happens. So, this, this is how you have this is how you get buried in Randall County. They they bury you in that jail and give you three or four charges that have no bonds. Shit, you can be in there forever. <laughs> they don't ever have to let you go. It's yeah, I know it's it's retarded, but this is the way of the world. I mean, come on, look at it. Look at this world. You don't think that shit can happen? I got proof of all of it right here. And it's already been sent to other people and said that I've made contingency plans. So don't try nothing stupid, anybody. I'm not stupid. Obviously, you can tell that by now, huh? I've been putting this plan together for at least a month, month and a half. Y'all used to be one step ahead of me. Now I'm a hundred steps ahead of y'all. I could give y'all, I used to. I'd give Megan a 30-day forecast of what she would do. <laughs> Dead on the money, huh? Because y'all are repetitive fools, not because I'm a super genius. And that cop, too, he ain't no different. Liars listen to liars. That man's trash, too. Mm hmm, that's right. So, here I am, the innocent guy. But I ain't taking the blame this time. I'm not going to let y'all run over me. I'm a blood bought child of God, man. Who the hell you think you're messing with? Okay? My God in heaven ain't gonna put that shit. Uh-uh. He ain't gonna put up with it. Thank God. Hmm? Praise God. It's a good thing I keep my nose clean. I ain't doing nothing to hurt nobody here. I do my little, my little work here in the shop. And, you know, I I got my couple little, little hustles that I do. And I don't 
partake in illegal activity. Thank you very much. Even though y'all were trying to make it look like I did. Mm -hmm. I saw that too. That's when I started planning. So, <clears throat> yeah, right. You know, I could feel it. Megan knew. She knew I knew. <clears throat> but I'll say this, Megan. When I would get those feelings, you wouldn't try to talk me out of it. But then this time, when you said you asked me about old boy, and I'm like, I don't even talk to him no more. Why would I? You know, like I ain't trying to do that shit. So, you, you know, that that's when I knew that he had you by the balls, Megan, and that you were no longer my friend. That's sad. That's selfish. You know, what I mean, that, that's not integrity at all. Like, be accountable for your actions. That's all I asked you to do. And we never would have had an issue. Or, or don't lie. That would have been good. What did I tell you? You get, you know, if you if you can't answer me without telling a lie, just don't say nothing at all. And we'll compromise. You couldn't even do that. Because liars hate their victims. You know, you probably started to hate me because the things Matt were saying and doing to you, you know, because of what you were doing. Y'all project all y'all's problems, all y'all's issues right onto me, just like that. Damn corporal. Y'all yeah. can all eat a dick. Huh? Yeah. All of y'all. <laughs> um, anyways, now that I've... I'm going to stop this one and start another one in 30 minutes. I went.